Okay, listen, this video over at HDTV test that all you LG fanboys keep linking me is not the official confirmation from Microsoft that I asked you for. Okay, so anyone out there that has it, I want to see specifically where Microsoft confirms they will not be supporting full bandwidth HDMI 2.1. The reason I want you to do this is because this console is going to be around for the next four years easily. And then after that, the mid-cycle refresh is going to happen, and this console will still be having games made for it. So this console will easily have five to six years of a lifespan on it. Now, what do you think is going to happen in the next five to six years in the TV world? They're already pushing 8K now. Do you think they're going to stop? No, they're going to have more 8K TVs out. That's why Microsoft is talking about up to 8K support. Now, for the guys out there trying to damage control the LG C10, like Vincent Teo on HDTV Test, I think it's sad because we know this is a long-lasting investment. This is something that's going to hold implications for the next four years easy. And to try to say that Microsoft is not going to have full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 without any official confirmation from the company is a very damning statement that if Sony comes out and says that they support full bandwidth and their TVs support full bandwidth, that's going to really damage Microsoft's business, isn't it? That's really going to hurt Xbox gamers because now people aren't even going to be interested in it. People that would have bought the Xbox are going to walk away, especially those who already bought their 8K TVs because they know they're going to be left behind and locked in to old 10-bit color. And don't tell me that 12-bit's not on the rise. We already see Hisense working on that. So, I mean, really, you think Sony and Samsung and LG is just going to let that ride forever? A budget brand out doing them? No, it's about competition. And so my point is, this, this whole video that Vincent did was about damage controlling. Damage controlling the fact that LG downgraded you. Because he'd rather say that you won't be left behind. Literally, his words here. It means that the LG C10 owners and QLED owners won't be missing out. He'd rather tell you you won't be missing out on that extra 8 gigabits per second that he's been saying doesn't matter. He'd rather tell you that than to tell you that in the next four years, when shit starts taking off, it will matter and you will be left behind. I mean, I don't know how, how many other ways I can say it. I know you guys are tired of hearing it, the ones who watch these videos regularly, but apparently there are those that, that really like to link dumb shit to me. And this is one of the dumbest things you can link to me. You know, saying that the 10 gigabits per second is, the, you know, the FRL, that, that's the reason why you jumped to the conclusion that you did. Microsoft never said that's how they're getting to their 8K resolution. Microsoft never even went and did a deep dive like PlayStation did on the specifications telling you every little ins and outs of that fucking machine and what chipset and all that stuff. Like, seriously, stop. Let them tell you. Let them tell you before you start speaking for a company. Because if you speak for them before their product launches, you can hurt that company. You can hurt that brand. I'm a gamer. I don't want to see PlayStation or Microsoft or Nintendo suffer at all. Even PC. I want all platforms to compete equally. And Vincent is screwing that up. He's an AV clown, in my personal opinion, that is trying to justify something that shouldn't be justified. And to do so, he's throwing another product and business under the bus. And I don't fucking like it at all. Okay? Let's wait until Microsoft throws themselves under the bus, and then we attack them for not having full bandwidth because the next four years are going to be very exciting in the TV world. But what I will tell you is this. When you have somebody come out and downplay the 40 gigabits per second and the DTS encoders being ripped out, you might want to look at them sideways. Because let me ask you something. If 48 gigabits per second really doesn't matter, and, and I'm being real with you, if it really doesn't matter, why in the hell did LG come out with the C-Series last year and it have the full 48 gigabits per second? It seems to me like LG knows something that you don't know, and they're trying to save money this year on a shareholder TV, because let's be real, they are obligated to pump out a TV every year for the shareholders, right? And they're going to rip out things like the DTS encoder to save money. They're going to take down the chipset to a less expensive 40 gigabit per second chipset so that they save money and give you the cheapest, most efficient version while they work on their real baby, right? R&D's cooking up something very special, but not this year. They're not going to waste their money on people this year. And of course, they don't have to, right? They have you, the loyal LG apologists and Vincent Teo of HDTV Test, who they've paid an outstanding amount of money, I'd imagine, by now, with his VIP treatment from LG. You guys all know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, it's clear. It's very clear what's going on here. And I, and I don't like it one bit. And I'm so sad for people who don't have a brain to think for themselves to understand what's happening here. You've got over 2,000 people that watch HDTV Test, 
and you've got over 200,000 people subscribed to him, clapping. Yes, this is a true professional. That clown Quantum, no idea what he's talking about. Yes, screw that Quantum guy. You could say that, but my guys over here are taken care of. Everything I always say comes true. Mark my words. That bandwidth is going to matter in four fucking years. Yeah, and all, all you people on the C10 talking about, I'll just upgrade my TV anyway. Who the fuck pays $2,000 to upgrade again? There's a reason I'm telling my guys not to buy a TV in 2020. Because I know this shit now in 2020. But see, there's a reason guys like Vincent Tio is telling you to buy now. Because he wants the commissions now. He wants to prove that he's selling these TVs now. Oh, look, I don't care one way or another. You buy what you want. I am so good over here. I really couldn't care one way or another. I got the TVs I want for now. And when something good comes along, I'll buy that too. Because I can. I don't want to hear that nonsense about Quantum's broke, Quantum's poor. Quantum only returns TVs for, review, for, for views or whatever it is. I mean, I, I've heard so many different things. I mean, guys, my main guys know what I'm talking about. I got every TV that I've fucking had for years now at this point. Hell, like my Q8 is still one of my champions, by the way. I love how people are now saying that I, I sold my Q8. I don't know where that came from, but that's a talking point that needs to die. My point being is that there's a history with these LG apologists, and I want to try to reach a broader scope, a, a broader audience here, and just try to hone in and say, listen, this is nonsense, total nonsense, until Microsoft confirms it. It's another rumor and I don't think it's fair to start a rumor until they've had their fair chance. That being said, I want to hear what you think about this in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty where I don't try to tell you that it doesn't matter when you get downgraded. Until the next video, I'll see you later, and it does matter.